In this video, I'm gonna talk about the future of online course websites, coming up. Hello, my name is Mac, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the future of online course websites. Now, I've been thinking about this a lot, and the more I look at it, I can see how things are going to change because of the popularity of online learning. As you know, uh, of course, due to this pandemic, most people are now going to online to learn, and this is making it convenient and also much easier to, to consume content. So the more I was looking at this, I was just thinking to myself, what can we do to make our online course websites even better? Because by default, basically what you normally see is a website which has some courses on it, and that's pretty much it. So there are two types of websites. Of course, you can uh, go the route of the Teachables, the Kajabi, and so on. But what I mainly focus on is having your own hosted courses on your WordPress website. Now, the reason why I prefer doing it this way is because you have total control, full control uh, of whatever is happening on your website. Of course, it has its drawbacks, and that is uh, sometimes can be a bit tricky to set up everything and make it work correctly. But this is why I'm here, because uh, the, the, the purpose of this channel is to teach you and show you how to put all this together. Now, before we get started, the tools that I'll be talking about in today's video are going to be listed in the video description below, and they all come with bonuses. For example, if you buy LearnDash using my affiliate link, you get the LearnDash Mastery course. And right now, I'm in the process of putting together the Buddy Boss course. So again, if you buy that, you'll be on the waiting list. And once the course is available, you will get access to it. But of course, in order for you to get these bonuses, you need to buy it using my affiliate link, which will be in the video description below. All right, so let's talk about uh, the basic website and what it currently looks like. So let's just say this is our normal uh, website. So in most cases, or 90% of the time, most websites will just have the courses hosted on their website, and that's pretty much it. So once someone pays for the course, they have access to it, and then they just start learning. Now, this can be, I mean, it works, don't get me wrong, but it's a bit boring. And here's why. What if we can have extra features onto our online course website? And these features are, if we take a look here, we are going to be adding now the ability to do live streaming, right? And we are doing live streaming to a specific group on our website. So let's say you have uh, courses which are separated into different groups and these groups are based on capabilities. So let's say you have advanced and uh, maybe uh, intermediate, right? So you can have specific Zoom calls into whatever group that you choose. Now, isn't that amazing? So on top of just having your static or your standard courses or your videos, whatever it is, you can also tap in and do some live training. Now, this is where I see things going because if you're going to be creating courses, you do need to add extra value to anyone that has bought your course. Otherwise, it doesn't really give you the idea of how people are consuming that course and any problems that they might be encountering. So one way you'd use these live webinars or live shows is to have maybe a Zoom call and Buddy Boss, by the way, does Zoom calls. Uh, this was the latest update. So it is really, really cool. I haven't uh, started using it yet. I'm still playing around with the features and see how I can implement it on my online course website. So anyway, my point is, let's say people have taken your course and have a lot of questions and there may be specific questions that people are asking. Now, if you can address these on a live show, this is fantastic. And the reason why I am suggesting this is because you can live stream to a specific group. So everyone else will be pretty much locked out. It'd be specific to that group. So that's the feature that I really like about Buddy Boss. And this is where I see the future of online course websites going. Now, the other feature is online communities. Now, there are so many times where I've tried to look for a plugin to work as a forum on my website. And to be honest, it's been very frustrating to find uh, something that works like that. But the Buddy Boss platform does a fantastic job of having all these latest features included in the platform. So for example, you're going to have groups, you're going to have forums, you can also have a timeline and also not mentioning the design. So they also come with a theme, which really makes the design of your online course website look amazing. And this is also one thing that is also very important because when you just use your standard, let's say, DV theme and uh, LearnDash, you do need to be a very good designer for you to really make something that is appealing and also something that is easy 
to for people to navigate around and this is based on your colors based on your fonts and based on how you lay out your website so the buddy boss theme brings all that in one package which is brilliant now does that mean you can't use your page builder with the buddy boss template theme no it doesn't mean that because for example dv has a plugin which you can use as the builder so it works alongside the buddy boss theme so this is very very powerful so you're getting the best of both worlds with uh, the dv builder you can design your landing pages you can design your promotional pages and so on and have the structure of your course pages and so on from buddy boss now moving on to the next part and this is now gamey press so this plugin allows you to have points achievements and ranks now if you were to have just a website that hosts your uh, courses on it wouldn't it be better if you can award points or achievements based on how the student is interacting with your courses so let's say you can give let's say 100 points for someone that finishes say module one in a course and this in my opinion uh, pushes them to want to achieve even more and more points and you can even have a leaderboard and see who is really at the top there and you can give bonuses away it could be maybe you give away say an advanced course or a course that relates to the course that they've just taken based on their points or you can also give them discounts based on the points as well so there's a lot that you can do to make your website interactive and more exciting for your students so these things that i've just mentioned here they are just the tip of the iceberg but i in my opinion these are the main ones that you need to look out for to make your website even more exciting and getting people or getting your students to come back and want to do more on your website because one thing that i've noticed is once people sign up sometimes they may sign up watch two lessons and they just disappear so by having these features you are able now to have your website fresh it will have a lot of content and you don't have to generate all the content yourself because for example with buddy boss uh, the community itself they can be sharing images they can send them uh, they can send each other messages so think about it like a mini facebook on your own website so this is why you may want to consider to take your uh, online course website to the next level by adding these two features i'll definitely be adding these features onto my own website i already use buddy boss and so the only thing i need to implement now is the gamey press so i want to find amazing creative ways of getting this engagement up so that's what i'm working on next but in terms of buddy boss i am really excited with buddy boss and it is doing a fantastic job on my website anyway guys that's all i have for you in today's video let me know what you guys think uh, what features would you like to see in a type of website for online learning for 2020 and the future let me know in the video comments below and also don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification by doing so you'll be notified when i release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video